Hello and welcome to this tutorial about free basic programming. BASIC was a language that was developed during the 1960s and it's an acronym which stands for Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Uh, free BASIC is a version for Windows which you can download if you Google Free BASIC. Uh, so I'm going to jump right in here and start looking at these uh, uh, programs. The first one I've written here just quickly is uh, the Hello World program. Uh, it's a declaration of X as an integer, which is just a whole number. Um, and then print is the keyword. The quotation marks contain the words to be put onto the screen. And input X just uh, pauses so that the window doesn't disappear before they can see the message. So I'll hit, I'll go to Make Menu and click on Go, and uh, there it is. Hello world, and uh, when I press enter the window will disappear. Um, here's a different program which I've written. Uh, it's arithmetic question for free basic. Uh, that at the top there is a remark which says that uh, these are uh, declarations for variables. They're all integers in this case. Uh, CLS clears the screen. That print puts that message onto the screen. Uh, input requests uh, user input uh, to be used by the program and it's here there's something like the print statement with the quotation marks but that just makes up the prompt and upper add is the variable to be used by the program. Um, now there's a few checks here. I wouldn't be too concerned at this stage uh, about what that does because um, some of these things are just specific to the to this program but with with a conditional if statement if it's uh, if upper add is less than or equal to zero then end so if they entered something like zero or less then uh, the program wouldn't work anyway so it just tells the program to terminate there with the end uh, keyword and then it goes through some more stuff here there's a randomized statement which starts the uh, randomization from the system timer uh, and some more stuff here. That, now a while loop, uh, it, notice how this is in, indented here uh, that's to make it easier to read I haven't left many remarks here but that's because I'm doing this um, voiceover explanation um, but this this sort of goes through and uh, I won't dwell on this stuff because it's fairly in depth. It's actually not a great uh, beginners program so we'll, I'll just slowly scroll through this and you can see that the the while ends down here. Now well, that means that while uh, the user uh, value was greater than or equal to zero so they were entering numbers which the program was asking and uh, they didn't up here it says negative number to quit so that was their way of getting out of it and it just goes down here and and ends so um, I'll make the program go um, uh, let's just say uh, 20 uh, six, three. I'll deliberately get this one wrong. Uh, three. So it says it's eleven. Uh, two. Twenty. Get another one wrong here. We'll say that's uh, uh eighteen. And now it's one. Apparently. Uh. Um, nine. So it's like a tut it's like a arithmetic learning program. But if I put in minus one, it'll end the program. Uh, I'll open a different source code here. Calculator. Now, arithmetic question was like a, a calculator in reverse, but this one actually uh, produces the results rather than asks for them. Uh, now, at the top here, there's the declarations clear screen, uh, the name is printed onto the screen so the user knows what the program's used for um, and uh, there's a, a do while loop which goes all the way down to here um, 
so if they if they said n to um, again, then the pro then the program would stop. Otherwise, it loops. Um, but there's the input for the number that they uh, want to operate on the operator. And it changes the operator to case in case they put upper or lower case, and we could just handle it in one. Um, operator length uh, and that sort of thing. All this and these these if statements, like if their operator was plus, then it takes their first number and their second number number and uh, prints it onto the screen. Uh, for some reason, basic needs um, radians instead of degrees for um, uh, the trigonometry. So, but let's go ahead and run it. Uh, six plus six should equal twelve. Yeah, uh, sixty-four. Square root is eight. Uh, so the program appears to be working. I'll, I'll hit end to end, end it, that there. Uh, guess guess dot bass. Um, yeah, this is a pretty fun little game. Um, it starts off with a remark up here. Then there's the declarations. Uh, with free basic you've got to declare all your uh, uh, variables unlike uh, Q basic or quick basic where you, you can just use them without declaring them uh, there's clear screen here and uh, print guessing game which is the title of the program under the screen it inputs their range and uh, so basically that means uh, you know one to one thousand is is what the magic number might be and then um, the random number is based on that range they only have to enter one number for it though cause, because the lower end is assumed to be one so um, uh, here's the loop that after this this generates the magic number up here and it's got plus one because uh, Random numbers include zero, and we don't want them to enter that. So, uh, but but do while magic number and guess. I mean, guess while guess does not equal magic number, and guess is not great. Uh, and guess is greater than or equal to zero. So, if they enter a, a negative number, it'll close the program because that's a good way to get out of the program for the user. Um, input up here. Uh, enter your guess or minus one to exit so that's instructions uh, and it keeps ta it keeps track of how many numbers they've entered so that they can get a score at the end and uh, if their guess is less than the magic number it prints it is greater if it's greater it prints it is less um, and that loops and at the end they say uh, you know you you got it in number of guesses tries so it, the variable which we had keeping track of their attempts is displayed on the screen there and then there's uh, uh, this little bit here just waits for a key to be pressed that's all that code does so uh, go I'll say 10 um, 5 7 I got it in two tries okay We'll just run it quickly again because it's kind of interesting to see if it is completely variable ten, uh, random ten. <coughs> Five, uh, seven. Ooh, it's generated the same number twice, so we better make sure that it actually is working. Ten. Five. It's not seven again, is it? Oh, good. Uh, nine. So we got it in three tries that time. Okay. Um, open leap year. Uh, yeah, this program determines whether or not uh, the input that the user put in is a leap year. Um, it's kind of uh, I I adapted this program from the Pascal source code uh, into Basic and. Um, it's kind of interesting because I always thought that 
leap years were just every four years, but they're more complicated than that apparently, according to the book at least. Um, so there's the declarations of one variable, and uh, going down here, here's the main uh, code of the program. Uh, they enter uh, a year, then it's uh, if it's less than zero, then it ends, because that's the way of quitting the program. Um, and then there's a modulus here, uh, modulo division. So uh, if the number is uh, divisible by 100, then go to century calc, otherwise regular calc. Now regular calc down here has uh, the source code which determines on a non-century, that is you know, it doesn't end in two zeros, whether it's a leap year or not, and century calc does the exact opposite. So I'll hit the make button and go ahead. Um, 1999, uh, 2000, 2004, 2009. So it's giving us feedback here about whether or not it's a leap year. I'll put this year in, uh, 2012. That is a leap year. Okay, zero to exit. Um, list. Yeah, this um, program lists, <laughs> which is an old-fashioned expression for um, putting uh, the words of a text file onto the screen. It's kind of detailed, I try to make it pretty nice, um, but by now, he from hearing me talk, you should know how most of this works, or you could go and look at my website, but we'll run the, run the program here, and I'll put in um, a riff.bass, and then it puts the source code uh, onto the screen reading it from the file and up the top there's open or escape and that's the end of the file anyway so uh, open the next program uh, running average um, so up the top here clear screen print that onto the screen declare these variables uh, do while user is l greater than or equal to zero uh, and then so on all these positive integers it it gets the it keeps track of how many inputs there were and then gets the total inputs and divides it by ha how many inputs there were so and then it prints it onto the screen okay so go um, uh, ten twenty should be fifteen uh, 0, back to 10, and 0, 7.5, so minus 1 to quit. A unit converter, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Um, now, here's the source code. There's about, what is there, there's 44 lines, and um, you could sort of see what's going on there. Uh, um, there's the main screen and and then it just calculates the result so I'll hit go because I'm running out of time here um, Fahrenheit to Celsius 15 um, 100 degrees is 37.7 .7 repeater